afternoon. What is today? Is today Saturday? Happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> I like never, I didn't even answer because I never know what day it is. Magic. <laughs> uh, tonight, we are going to a very fun event. We are going to the premiere mm -hmm. of a documentary called The Dark Side of Disney, which was a book written by our friend Leonard Kinsey. I don't know if you guys remember, but over the summer, Tim listened to the audio book and he was like, and we made like a whole vlog about it and everything. He was really, really into it. Yeah, it was good. So I still haven't read it, but I'm going uh, to. I'm going to read it. But I'm we're going gonna, to. So um, there was a documentary made based off of the book, kind of going into more detail about what the book's about. Mm -hmm. So we got invited to the premiere of that. And there's like a costume contest. We get to meet all the, the filmmaker and the author and a few other people that are in the movie. Yeah. And then we get to watch it at 9.30 tonight. I'm excited. So, and the entire event is being held at Gods and Monsters in Artagon. And we haven't even, I don't know that we've shown you this place yet. Have no, we? we haven't. We've yeah. never been. So it's like a two for one. We're going to show you a cool new place that we've never seen. And we're also going to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of the premiere. Uh, and just to give you guys a little bit of like an insight, Gods and Monsters is like the ultimate uh, comic book store. Like everything comic book that you could ever imagine is there. So let's go and check it out. Here we are at Artagon and I wanted to show you guys like right off the bat here. This is Toby Keith's I Love This Bar. As you can see, the sign is all gone. The lights are still on, but this place is definitely shut down. Here we are. Let's go inside and have a look-see around. As soon as you walk in, there's a giant ropes course up there. This is a ropes course that we haven't done yet because there was a fatal accident that happened here. Would you say I had a plethora of fun clothing options? There's like a kid riding around on a little lion right there. There's a tattoo shop here. And this is where we're going to Gods and Monsters. Got a lady painting a mural on the outside of her little storefront here, but we are in one of the little districts. I'm trying to find a bathroom real quick and I just wanted to show you guys all of the different like little uh, like little, oh, here we go, you start your own business. You can rent out this little storefront right here. It's nice, just passing by Bass Pro Shops and I think we found our boat, everybody. Yeah. Finally, a beef jerky outlet. I've been paying too much for beef jerky this whole time. It is a charging station for your phone that you have to pedal. That's kind of awesome, good idea. Kind of stinks though because you, it's not USB, you have to bring your own charger. So pedal it up and it shows you like how you're doing. Yeah, there you go. And now you're charging your phone. You guys have to do it like this until you're done? Well, yeah. It's just got to stay on green the whole time. I, just see I think you can slow down. Oh, can I? Yeah. See, now you just got to go a little bit faster. There you go. This, the only thing about it is that the seats slope down. Oh, and so you, you just like slide forward the <laughs> yeah. whole time? I'm so confused. They've got like a whole wall full of postcards that says you write it, we'll mail it. But don't you need a stamp? Like, where, what do we do? There's no instructions other than this. All right, we're sending one to Kaylee to see if it, like, see if it works. There's no postage stamp on it, so we're just gonna shove it in there and see what happens. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> we're gonna find out how much it is to rent a motorized animal thing. All right, let's have a look in Gods and Monsters. This place is pretty awesome looking. There's like so much stuff in here, we don't really even know where to begin looking at stuff. It's like a whole section of Calvin and Hobbes right here too. Little Simpsons figurines, Those amazing. Those are Treehouse of Horror Simpsons figurines too. Yeah. That's awesome. This one I think does something because there's a little switch on it. I wonder what it does. It's like a whole My Little Pony section, a whole Adventure Time section. I could see us spending a lot of money on Simpsons stuff here. This is awesome. Is this from The Corpse Bride? I don't remember that movie enough. Sorry. I don't think, oh, I don't know which ones, yeah. Don't touch anything. Okay, sorry, sorry. Ooh, The Book of the Dead. Oh, that's crazy looking. Oh my gosh, Isn't it? it? Yeah, oh, and Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. I kind of want this Nightmare on Elm Street candy dish. That is amazing. Custom Harry Potter wands and a whole Lord of the Rings section. They have like a little arcade section back here and this is where we're gonna watch the movie over here. It'd be pretty awesome. And then they have an entire, well, I don't know, I was gonna say this was the Star Wars section, but the Star Wars section's over here. I don't know what this is. Look at how neat the little lights up there look. Oh look, and there's a place for you to like sit and have your drinks and stuff. Yeah, look at this alien egg right here. That's awesome. 
Yo, these He-Man toys that hit me right in the childhood. They have a bar back here with like gaming systems set up. Like this guy's playing Super Mario World right here. And you can play like all these different games. That's awesome. So not only is this little like DJ booth here in the Nostromo, but every single one of their little like private booths is as well. I like that they've got these stars up in the ceiling too. So when you're watching a movie, you're like watching it under starlight. Look at these skull lamps. They're way cool. Oh, that's awesome. And then they've got all these board games that you can play. So we're still inside Gods and Monsters and we ran into Melody and Amanda. And Melody has a Tumblr page called Saving Mr. Skywalker with dashes in between. And it's saving dash MR dash Skywalker. Yes, okay. So check this out. This is what Melody gave to Amanda for your birthday. Yay! Yeah, for her yeah. birthday. This is amazing. Amazing. Hashtag <laughs> HHN twerk team. This is so great. I do take requests. I will do art for other people if you want it. I can't, like, I can't, I mean. I just do a really good job modeling the picture. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. <laughs> if you guys love it, please check out her Tumblr page. This is amazing. Please, please. I will, I will take the requests. I will draw the icons doing whatever you want. Please. <laughs> That's so great. That is fantastic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think you're going to dig this film if you dug the book, and uh, I'm actually interested in hearing what you all think about it after this. So we are going to do a Q&A after the screening. We have this space until 1 a.m., so we're going to kind of hang out and do what we drink. Talk. We will be selling DVDs of the film that aren't even like released yet. Uh, we'll also be selling books, of course. Um, a shirt of Hoot Gibson. Hoot Gibson! Hoot! Hoot! There he is. Hey. We're doing a uh, Q&A after watching the movie. So we're just leaving Gods and Monsters after watching the Dark Side of Disney documentary and it, it was great. It was a fantastic movie. Uh, what did you think? I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the way that it was shot. I really enjoyed the background music. I enjoyed all of the content, of course. It was just really... Um, I don't know, like real, like it was just really real. Like the feelings were real. The oh, things yeah. that they were saying were real. Sometimes you watch things, especially Disney stuff. Sometimes you see Disney things and they just seem so forced and so kind of just not, not genuine at all. And this really was like, everybody was just really, really candid. Um, I really enjoyed everybody's interviews. It was, it, it gave me a lot of feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was fantastic. I highly recommend it. Okay, so there it is right there. It's dsoddoc.com. And I even picked up a copy of the book as well. So I'm gonna be giving that a read and we'll probably watch this again. It was really good. Yeah, that was the only complaint that I had about um, the Gods and Monsters setup was that the it's a huge room, like a giant space and it's really hard to fill that giant space with the sound from speakers. Oh, so yeah. it was a little bit hard to hear. So we're gonna take it home and watch it again because it was a good watch and I wanna pay closer attention to it. Yeah, I'm sure there's things that we probably missed in there. So I'm, I'm definitely really excited about it. I'm really happy that we got to come and check it out because we've never been to Artagon. We've never been to Gods and Monsters and we had never seen this. So, I mean, this was like all around a really awesome night. I am a little bit sad that we didn't get a chance to like ride the little like- Oh, the animals? The animal <laughs> bike things. <laughs> I think, I feel like we had a pretty good night seeing the movie though. We'll have to yeah. come back. We'll have to definitely come back. Right. I want to come back and see more, got more of Gods and Monsters for sure. So we'll be back. Yeah. Back home after a fantastic trip out to Artagon. I'd like to go back to Artagon a couple more times. I really kind of enjoyed that mall. I thought it was really cool. It was also really weirdly like a flea market. I'd I don't know. <laughs> I'd call it like industrial. Yeah, yeah, it was it was definitely different and we are we are for sure gonna go back. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the event. Um, we couldn't obviously film while they were showing the documentary because that's something that they uh, have out for purchase. And I just wanna let you guys know we bought this movie, so we like we just really thought it was great, so we wanted to buy a copy ourselves. If you guys are interested, I know we showed you a few minutes ago, but it is D-S-O-D-D-O-C.com, D-S-O-D-Doc.com if you want to check it out yourself. And the other cool part is that with the DVD, you get like other footage that didn't make it into the movie. So there's some footage with the drunk on Disney guy who just so happens to voice Master Shake on Aqua Teen Hunger Force. So 
Uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I had no idea that he ran that account. Right. Like, that's crazy. Somebody actually, this is like a little bit of just like Twitter trivia. I don't, I don't know if it's true, but somebody told me that Epcot Explorer on Twitter is Patton Oswald. Oh, I don't know. That's uh, we I, can ask the park scope guys because I don't think it is because they're friends with him. Oh, okay. So we so will just, find out. Yeah, somebody was. So it's like you just never know who's running these accounts. It's just so crazy. That was the point of that story. Um, also, we got a copy of the book, which I'm so excited. This is a little bit more risque, I think, for some of our younger viewers. I don't know, right. but um, I can't wait to start reading this book. I am so excited. I still need to read Kingdom Keepers. I'm going to try to read them both, not at the same time but I am going to try to read both of these books. The documentary itself made me want to do three things. It made me want to look for every bit of vacation pictures from when I was a kid. Not even vacation pictures, just Disney pictures because we lived here. So here's one that I wanted to share with you guys just really quick. So this is me and Mickey at the Odyssey restaurant in Epcot. So you can kind of see that's like Spaceship Mickey. This is probably where my love of aliens came from. Number two made me want to go to the parks. So I think tomorrow, yeah. I think we're gonna go to the parks because I'm like really jonesing for some Disney right now. And number three, it made me want to find more Disney friends to hang out with. Just the people that were at this event were just like us. Everybody loved Disney. Everybody loved just like the Disney fandom. Everybody loved the feeling that you get when you go to Disney. Everybody was just, Awesome. It was just great. Everybody had similar feelings that that we have, I think, when we go to the parks. So it was just really cool to meet the people that were there and to hear their stories and it was just awesome. So those are the three things that I want to do after seeing the Dark Side of Disney documentary. What about you? I also want to do those three things. I wish that we had like your ch your kid photos from Disney here. We yeah. have all of mine. Like I have boxes and boxes and boxes for my mom of um, our old vacation photos and like our old like my childhood photos. So we'll have to like dig them out at your parents' house. I think. Yeah, I have a ton because back in the day, like I went to Disney a lot, like a lot. Yeah, me so. too. I'm actually kind of surprised that we didn't know each other as like kids. Right. Because we were probably at the same place at the same time a lot. <laughs> kind of a lot, yeah, often. I think that's one of the other things that I love about Disney so much is that it really like brought us together as well. Like, yeah. we just really, I don't know, Disney is just like such a, a weird force, you know? It is. It's really strange, but like in the best way. So, um, so yeah, I had a really great night and I think this movie really made me feel lots of really awesome feelings and I'm so happy about that. So yeah. I hope that you guys check it out and I hope that you feel those same feelings. <laughs> yeah, and with that, uh, we're gonna go to bed because we gotta get up and go to Disney tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Ashley. I'm Kale. And it's time, it's time to pay the, pay the price. price.